Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be playing with Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker collection. I got a few things from the collection. I couldn't, um, you know, afford the entire thing, but I got the big Jawbreaker palette. I got a Supreme Frost in the shade Diamond Wet, and I got one Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Purple Urkel. I am so excited to be playing around with this. Um, I already have like my base down, so I'm literally just gonna be diving in. Um, I have some crusty going on, so just just ignore it. We don't have to address it. It's there. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right in um, and start with the Jawbreaker palette. All right, everyone. So this is the Jawbreaker palette. Um, I believe it's 20 four shades this is jeffrey's biggest palette to date and i think it was 58 dollars so kind of you know kind of up there in price point but it's a big palette it's really like hefty um and the color scheme is like incredible it's literally like no other palette i've ever seen um so i might do two different looks on my eyes because i want to play with like as many colors as possible i have an idea for one eye i kind of want to do like a cotton candy-ish, like, pinky blue, purple, yellowy <laughs> eye. And then on this eye, do something, like, completely different. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, I went ahead and zoomed you into the eyes. All right, so I'm primed with my MAC Paint Pot Primer. And I think I'm going to start with this shade called Good Morning. This little light pink shade right here. So I'm going to take a, all my brushes are dirty, just warning you now, a fluffy blender brush from Wet n Wild and dip it in there. And blend that into the crease. Um, it's a little, it's like a very light shade, so it's not really showing up that well, but that's okay. With a little bit denser of a blending brush, I'm going to go in with Bubblegum, which is that color right there, and kind of deepen the crease with that. The pigment is pretty good on this one for a, um, for like such a pastel shadow. It's really hard to get the pigment like formulated right for, um, you know, pastel colors like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna just blend out the edges a little bit. I love how that looks. I love that color. I would put that all over my lid. Now I'm gonna take, um, cotton candy. This is what kind of inspired the look and just like, Put it all over that lid. Wow. Look at that. I didn't even wet the brush or anything. That's just dry. That's awesome. <laughs> Look how fun that is. Uh, okay, I'm going to go in with my finger and put some on and see how that looks too. Okay, that color is like literally awesome wow okay i'm gonna go back in with a um blending brush and go back into bubble gum that kind of pastel pink because it we lost it a little bit in the crease so i'm gonna put it back in there that cotton candy shade um definitely had some fallout but that doesn't really bother me i just swipe it away wow that is sick I kind of want to go back into that good morning shade, that really light pink shade, and put it kind of in the inner part of my eyelid. Yes, that's what I want. To kind of brighten up that a little bit. So far, every shadow that I've used is like awesome. Okay, loving how it's looking so far. Now I'm going to go to the lower lash line and I'm going to add some blues in there. 
Okay, first I'm gonna go in with this color called Brain Freeze. And um, I think I'm gonna do that on the outer portion of the lower lash line. And just pack it on there. Oh! She is pigmented. Wow. It's even like going over that pink. That's how pigmented this is. And that's like a pastel color. So that's like really awesome that it is. Oh. But look. It just kind of blended away. Okay. Interesting. So like the initial pack on is so pastel. But then when you, when you kind of blend it a little bit, it kind of disappears. I want like a pastel yellow for this inner, inner corner. So I'm going to go in with Wow and mix it with um, Virgin over here to kind of get that pastel yellow. Okay, that kind of like blended into Oblivion. Okay, so I'm running into the same thing with the yellow with the blue. Like it packs on well, but then if you try to blend it, it like kind of just disappears um but look how cute that is isn't that like cotton candy vibe okay now i'm gonna go into the shade snack right here and highlight the inner corner that is so cute that's really pretty cute okay let's jump over to the other eye Okay, so I have no idea what I want to do for this eye. The shade Orange Juice is so unique. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a shade like that. So I think maybe I'm going to go for like an orangey red sort of look. It might turn out a little fall, but like, that's okay. We like fall. Okay, so I'm going to start out using Cone. This sort of like orangey... Um, Looks kind of like an orange creamsicle-y color and use that as my transition. That's a really pretty color. Okay, cute. Now I'm going to go in with a more dense brush. And I think I'm going to go into Suck to deepen up the crease. This just like orange right here. That was pigmented for sure. Okay. Now I think I'm going to take that orange juice color and fill in the rest of my lid with it. Wow. That's just like the uh, hot pink I used on the other eye. Like super shimmery, even just using a dry brush. That's awesome. Wow. That's like fire fiery orange okay so i have the liquid lipstick called cherry wet but he made a matching eyeshadow shade and i think i'm gonna use that to deepen up the outer corner these shadows do look okay that's pigmented these shades do have fallout but i think that honestly comes with really any super pigmented eyeshadow like I don't know, you should just expect it. I don't think it's the end of the world at all. Oh my god. Okay, I kind of want to turn this into a halo eye and put put that on the inner half. Mmm, we gonna do that. Oh my god, I love that color. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in with orange juice. That's sickening. Now I'm just blending the edges out a little bit with that original um, transition shade. Alright, I'm going to go extra with this. And in the very, very center of the eye, I'm going to go in with um, Lemon Drop right here. That is giving me fire vibes. Daenerys Targaryen looking eye. That is so sick. Okay. I'm gonna kind of imitate what I did up top on the bottom lash line. Okay, I love how both of these looks turned out. This one is like, oh, she's cute, she's flirty, you know, we're going to the mall, we're having a little date. And this one is like, I'm finna burn down your city. 
So like two different vibes, but both very cute. Okay, now let's move on to the highlighter. Um, so it's a Supreme Frost and Diamond Wet. And the Supreme Frost formula is like very wet looking with glitter. Like, like look at how reflective it is in the pan. That's crazy. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take a highlighting brush and just gonna dip in and go for it. Cute. Cute. Oh. She wet looking for sure. I love that. It's very glittery, but like, I don't mind it because it has that like wet looking reflect under it it's not like just pure glitter that is so pretty i love i love and then on this side i'm gonna apply using my fingers just for funsies okay uh i'm gonna need a brush to blend that out <laughs> Yeah, so this formula is definitely super glittery. So if you are not into that, you're not going to like this. But like, if you like a crazy looking highlight, like myself, you're going to like it. Put a little on the nose. Mm -hmm. Cute. Okay, so now, last but not least, we are going to try the Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Purple Urkel. So it's like this lavender color, and it has a little bit of sheen to it, if you can tell. Um, I usually at least get one liquid lipstick from his collections because they each have like a different color cap, and um, I like that. Okay, so here we go. All right, so there is Purple Urkel on the lips. It's a little bit patchy when you apply it. You kind of have to work around and like maneuver with it. Um, but I really like the shade. Um, it looks super cute with like this eye, like pastel fantasy. Um, it looks stupid with this eye, but overall I think it's a super cute color. Um, if you just wore it with like liner and lashes, super cute. Um, it's like a pastel purple, but it's also wearable. It's not like too milky to the point where you like can't really wear it but yeah this is my full face using the jawbreaker collection so overall i pretty much love the collection um so in the palette uh all the shimmers were like fantastic uh they worked so well so pigmented so like shimmery i don't know um and the mattes worked well too but i did have some trouble with the pastel mattes um when i was blending them they kind of like disappeared as i blended them and i've had problems with jeffrey's pastel colors like that in the past especially in the thirsty palette which came out last summer um like initially when you pack them on they look great but then once you start blending them out they like disappear and that's what kind of happened on my lower lash line um but rather than that like all the other shades I used in this palette were awesome. No complaints. Um, the Supreme Frost, I love it. That looks like amazing. I couldn't ask any more from a highlighter than that. And then, yeah, I love the lipstick too. I'm really glad I got this shade. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Jawbreaker collection. Let me know down below like what your favorite thing in the collection is or like your favorite color in the palette. I can't wait to create more looks with this. Like this palette is just asking to be like just bring out your creativity you know what i mean um but yeah thanks for watching guys make sure to like and subscribe below it would really help me out and stay on fleek friends bye